Wow, that's literally everyone. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about what improv is. Have you guys seen a performance before, like a movie, a theatrical show, anything like that? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay, great, perfect, okay. So the cool thing about those is they have a script, and they rehearse this script over and over again. But what you are about to see here, folks, is something that's completely unscripted. We have a bunch of games that we're going to play with you guys, but we need you all to help us with suggestions to fill up some of the blanks. So, for example, if I needed your favorite animal, your favorite animal, what would it be? Aardvark. An aardvark, okay, an aardvark. Any other favorite animals in the house? Cat. A cat? Ooh, the internet, they love them too. All right, cool. So, and if I were to get your your car model, anyone's car model? Honda. Honda? Camaro. Camaro? Okay, so if you guys didn't like the show, and there's any boos in the audience, we know what cars to look for after the show. Good to know. All right, so for the first game of the evening, we are going to play a little game that we like to do to warm us up called Freeze. So with this game, we need two of our actors to come on forward. Fantastic, we have an Adriel and Brianna. And we need two volunteers from our audience. This is Freeze. You need to open up your mind more, man. Is Make that, it too close-minded. Is that explained why you stacked the dishes and the silverware on the dining table? I stacked the and like dishes a tower? and the silverware on the dining table like a tower. Freeze. This is the longest game of Cat's Cradle I have ever played. It's you all, need to take it from me. It's only long because I don't know how to play the game. Here's some scissors. Snip, snip, snip. The game's gone. Oh. Now you got a bunch of string on your hands. What are you going to do about it? Freeze. Well, Bianca, all I have to say is this is really cheap material. Vanessa, I made this dress just for your prom date, and now you're upset about it. I did it all my... Freeze. It took all the time. I'm actually Spider-Man. Look. Oh my gosh, and I'm Batman. Ah! Oh my god, we crossed universes. I don't know how this happened. We should combine and fight against the world. I'm trying to keep a TikTok influencing profile, and you're just not it. You're doom and gloom. On Please. That. <laughs> what do you think? I just got electricity powers. I feel the hatred flowing through me. Your electricity is powered by hatred? Yeah. What are you hating right now? What am I hating? I hate those cats that the neighbors keep beating. Maybe I, I can... It's not the neighbors, it's me. Um, this is the length of your life, Hercules. And with these scissors... Hold this length. Thank you. With these scissors... I will cut your life in half! <laughs> Wait! Aren't there like uh, some tasks that you want me to do with the Freeze! Life? That's not how you hold chainsaw. Oh. It's like this. You gotta put scissors in your hands. Okay. Okay? Alright? You hold it only with two Freeze. fingers. I have pulled out Excalibur from the sword, from the stone. You pulled out Excalibur from another sword? Yeah. I've literally never seen that before. You always hear it with stones, but it... Dude, go in a really far away place called New Jersey. Uh, what language do they speak over there? Maybe we don't go there? How about we yes. turn Oh my god, I'm so happy that they, they don't know how to use those chainsaws. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know, we survived, we survived. And look, from the look at the front of the scope, you got no injuries, sister. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I didn't know we would make Texas out alive. Texas is so terrible, everyone's a massacre. Freeze. I'm gonna ask you again. Where, why isn't the beast in its cage? Because I am the beast! <laughs> You've been wearing a mask the whole time. I'm... <laughs> Master, please. Buy some of my wares. I need to support my family. Do you, I hope my you wife take... will leave me. I hope, you take... I hope you take slime. 
I can't say this. Master, please. Please. You can have one little curl of bread, but no more, because the rest is mine. Ha! Joke's on you. This completed my collection. Mm -hmm. Dad, I'm really scared to be the flower girl for the wedding. You're marrying that do... wicked stepmother. Yes, it's going to be fine, all right? And you should not speak about your stepmother that way. Just because she's half my age does not mean she's not going to treat you well. She's okay? like the weed here. She's like the weed in this in this thorn. Why did you put a weed in a thorn in the bucket? Just the freeze. Take it out. Why did you freeze? What do you think of my dog? He's always so cute. He's so cute. Come on, Fido. Come on. It just peed on your hand. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that is free. Uh, our good friends Adriel and Angelica are going to do one scene in one minute. However, after that, they will continue to do the same scene, but in a shortened amount of time. I uh, will be the timekeeper. And to get this scene started, I need a suggestion of a relationship. Who are these people? Cousins. Cousins. All right. Cousins? <clears throat> Take it away. Trisha, I haven't seen you for so long. What do you... Why are you, um... Mo uh, raking the leaves. Ben! Oh my gosh, it's not you! It's been 30 years! That's right. And I still don't understand why you're raking the leaves at, uh, in summer. <laughs> because our whole crops have gone to ruin. It's so hot! Oh, it is. And, um, if it gets one degree hotter, I don't know what I'll do. I do. I do, Ben. You've been gone for 30 years. To live in the winter. To live in the air-conditioned board. And I've been here taking care of our home, taking care of our family. I, I know, it was heaven for me. Didn't you care about us at all? Did you care about what's going on? Of course I did. Didn't you get that card I sent you? Yeah, yeah, I did. And that picture of you lounging around in the snow, butt naked. To give you guys incentive on to living my life. Mom's dead. <laughs> Your dad's dead. And see. All right. Did you guys get that down? Got some cousins, global warming. That's messed up. They're all messed up. So now they're going to do it again in 30 seconds. Let's see if they can fit it in 30 seconds. Take it away. Why are you raking? Because, Ben, you, Trisha. Here, you haven't been here for 30 years. Yeah, I've been living in the, the north, in the cold. The north? Everything's gone to shit. It's hot out here. I know, it's heaven up there. Why didn't you come back? Why didn't you come back when everyone was, like, needing you? I just said it was heaven up there. Didn't you get my postcard? Yeah, I did. You were lying butt naked in the middle of the snow. To give you guys incentive on them living my life. My mom's dead. Your dad's dead. The whole family's dead. And see. Mm. It's getting hot. They gotta do it again in 15 seconds. You guys get it? It's getting hot. <laughs> what a bump. All right, take it away. Trisha, why are you raking? Betty, you're alive? That's right, living in the north. It's been 30 years! I know, this was great. Our cool crops have gone to shit. <laughs> but it's great up there and then the cold. Didn't you care about us at all? Did you get my postcard? Yeah, I did. You were lying butt naked in the snow. Now these guys are going to do that scene one more time, but in five seconds. Okay, let's see if they can do it. And take it away. Break! Ben! Cold! You're so butt naked in snow! It's an incentive! See! <laughs> Lucky for us, we do have a full panel of experts in the house. Can I get Adriel for on? And I know who's here. Uh, Steph. Steph, come on up. Awesome, awesome, perfect, cool. So, this is our panel. Thank you everyone for joining us today in This Is This and That Is That. For our panel, um, I forgot who I hired, so I need experts from the audience. Who should Adriel be? What is he an expert in? Is he chocolatier. A chocolatier. Oh, Fantastic. Chocolatier. And for Steph? Bears. 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 And for Fran? Archaeology. Archaeology. Thank you very much. So, hello everyone. Welcome to This Is This and That Is That. 
the show where we get to the bottom of what this and that is. Today we have our special, special panelists. Can you please tell us your name and what you do? Hello, my name is Billy Splunka. Not to confuse with Willy Wonka, they stole my likeness without asking. Um, and I am a chocolatier. I have my own factory. And um, I also, uh, and I just am an expert on all things chocolate, Dutch, French, milk, dark, even though white chocolate. Wow, uh, white, French, dark. Okay, all right, that sounds great. And how did you get into it? Well, you you remember that kid from the movie that drowned in the, the chocolate fountain? Yes, yes I do. They got the idea from that time I was in a field trip and I fell into the chocolate fountain. I was that kid, but I, I didn't ju just go out and learn a lesson or something. Uh -huh. I actually had an epiphany that the, every people like chocolate. People like uh, like a chocolate if it was molded into a person. And then when I made my own chocolate person, I thought maybe I can make a career out of this and make a whole chocolate everything with different flavors. And that's it. You make, you make people? <laughs> Not just people, other stuff too. Interesting, interesting. We'll talk more on that. Now, uh, you, uh, what is your name and what are you an expert in? Hi, uh, my name is Teddy. Because when I was a little girl, um, I have scratching my new bear tattoo, everyone. So oh, you shouldn't scratch that. Oh, it get infected. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, no. The pus there. Oh, uh, I hope you have a band aid. Do you know chocolate can be medicinal? Don't wipe your pus off. Oh, me. sorry. Uh, and I, I, I like bears because I used to play softball, um, as a kid, and I, I got injured. And then I got injured on the field after a fastball hit my head. Um, this mean guy did it on purpose. And then um, my daddy picked me up from the field, and then I, he took me home. And then one day he brought me this teddy bear. And, and ever since then, I've been obsessed with bears. Wow. Well, um, if we do have a medic in the audience, that would really help out with whatever happens. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Okay, all right. Would help out with that tattoo. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, what's your name and what do you do? Hi there, Mary. Uh, what's up? So, the name's uh, Bertrand Ossifer. Uh -huh. But they call me old Bert. Okay. And I'm an expert in archaeological. Yes. Arche the bone thing. Uh -huh. All right. So, he here here's what happened. Uh, every When I was at a farm one day, I went digging like I do, just dig, because uh -huh. it's fun. Right. And I found a big old dinosaur bone. Oh. Everybody got real excited. Yeah. News stations, all that. Yeah. Two months later, happened again. What? Four months later, happened it? again. I can't find them. I don't know where they're coming out of. Eventually, University of Alabama just gave me an honorary degree in archaeology. Okay. You know, that, that college gave a degree to anybody as long as they do something of important somewhere. So, so you haven't really done any school just found I found bones. bones. Ain't that schooling? Ain't that enough? Right. I'm I real guess, good at it. I guess so. They call me a doctor. Right. Oh, you're, you're a doctor. They give you yeah, they call me Dr. Ossifer. I don't care. Old birds sound better. Fantastic. So quite the panel we have today. Does anyone have any questions for our experts? Yes, over there. Um, for the archaeologist, right? Did I say it correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, What's the largest bone you've ever found? Um, uh, Madame Fido can run the length of it in about mm, 30 seconds. About that long. Cool, 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 cool. That's a scientific measurement, by the way. Oh, okay. All my papers are uh, using that form of measurement. All my papers are written in tobacco leaves. Right, okay, okay. All right, I think it's time to move on to the next question. Yes? Uh, this is for the bear lady. Uh -huh. um, are the clear gummy bears the same flavor as the green gummy bears? Sorry, I could barely hear you, <laughs> but I did. Um, it is the same flavor. I do. Because they're the same shape, and it's a trick. Wow. So all gummy bears are the same flavor? They're the same flavor. <gasps> you heard it. 
because all bears are one. All bears are the same. They are all equilateral. There's not one better bear than the other bear. There's not one better tasting bear than the other bear. I don't know if that's perfectly true, but okay. All right, doctor. Find something okay. else to think. Mm -hmm. That's me. All right, any other questions from our audience? Yes. This is for the chocolatier. Yes. What? How many chocolates do you sell at <laughs> Easter compared to Christmas? Who? In Easter compared to Christmas. Well, most of the time, technically a lot because of, of the chocolate eggshells. They, uh, the food in, uh, department considers it illegal, but I, I tell them to screw off. Uh, because, you know, the incident with those Kinder Eggs, that's why they have to switch those half and halves. But, um... I, I believe in my integrity as a chocolatier, so if the kids choke on them, then it, it won't be in vain because they they got to die with the experience of trying the chocolate shells with the candy inside. Parents, remember this channel is uh, PG-13, you know, keep children away uh, as our uh, experts are talking about experts. Okay, uh, any other questions? Yes, here. Well, chocolate's here again. Do you, do you ever make in your factory uh, chocolate dinosaurs or chocolate bears? It's funny you should say that. We have in our chocolate factory, we have molds that were casted from real versions of that thing. So if we wanted to make a chocolate bear, we would have to make a mold using a real bear. If we wanted to make a mold using a, <laughs> if we wanted to make a mold of a, of a chocolate dinosaur, we would have to find a real dinosaur, even if it means using. You going to my backyard trying to steal my bones? You trying to steal my credit? I earned that degree. We even stole some of these What are you trying to do here? I don't want some of that money you earned from my profits here. And you, and you don't want to know where we get the molds for chocolate turds. Um, okay, all right. I think that we're wrapping it up. The producers are telling us it's over. The panel's over. Everyone, thank you for coming in to This Is This Is That Is That. So our next game is called Genres. And Genres will be with... Brianna and Adriel, let's give a hand a round of applause. Okay, so genres will work like this. I am going to ask the audience for different types of uh, film, TV, movie styles, and uh, Brianna and Adriel are going to start a scene. At first, they're going to start a scene as is, and throughout the scene, I will tell them to freeze, then tell them which of the genres that you all picked they will now switch to while keeping the scene going. All right, and we're gonna do that with three different genres. So what I need from the audience are three different types of film, movie, genres, anything. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Western. Documentary. Sci-fi documentary. Horror. Horror. So we have sci-fi, documentary, and horror. Now, for this first scene, uh, we need a suggestion to uh, top it off. So someone give me um, a location of your first favorite birthday. Carvel. Chuck E. Cheese. All right, so the suggestion is Chuck E. Cheese. Whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and take it away. That's the name of the movie. That's the name of the location. The movie doesn't have a name, but do you guys want to name the movie? With, what was it, sci-fi, horror, and documentary? What name does this movie have in Chuck E. Cheese? What, what I did. What I did. What I did in Chuck E. Cheese. Ready? Go ahead, take it away. Like, wow, I can't believe we're in Chuck E. Cheese. It's going to be the best birthday ever. I can't believe we're in Chuck E. Cheese. Come on, Chelsea. Why do you got you to cheer up? Why are you uh, depressed about Chuck E. Cheese of all places? I don't know. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 13 months. I have to do something better than go to Chuck E. Cheese all the time. I like to think that I'm a kid at heart, even if the kids, other kids are intimidated Wait, by me. Dude. Curry's horror. Horror? Um... Stay away from those animatronics. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they look so scary. Oh my hey, gosh, I can't do it. Hey, kids, stay away from that. It's the bite of 87. No, oh, no. oh, oh. Sci-fi. Mm. Wait, do you hear that noise? Nope. It sounds like there's something on the roof or maybe coming from the sky. <laughs> oh my god, it's a mutated Charles E. Chuck Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Found it in the security room. Wait, <laughs> here we can see the lost Chuck E. Cheese. Let's go inside and take a look. As it you smells like mildew. Ugh, and pizza. And mice. 
<laughs> As you can see, we have the animatronics that are missing a lot of their skin, their fur, so that you can see their robot parts exposed. We've had a big issue with furries in recent years. So. Yes. Um, they were vandalized by the anti-furries, you know, the people that hate furries. By the way, we're pro-furry. This is a pro-furry documentary. <laughs> As you can see, there are arcade machines, too, that were also vandalized by the anti-furries. So there's not enough furries to hate. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you say about all this? This was our last Chuck E. Cheese, and now it's all vandalized by the anti-furries. Be or not to furry. And see. So with this game, this is called Mixed Up Fairy Tale. So we're going to be telling you a story from your childhood, a fairy tale. Now, does anyone have any fairy tale that's your favorite fairy tale that you'd like to hear here today? Princess Frog. The Princess Frog. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to be reading you the story, and to give you, you know, visual appeal, we're going to have our actors perform it for you. So this is the Princess Frog. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prince. <laughs> And the prince had long, flowy hair. The hair was so long, it trailed behind him like a giant cape. And this cape would catch wind from time to time, and he would fly. And in the clouds, the prince would talk to the birds. The birds would say and sing, Hello, fair prince, hello! Hello, fair prince, I have a story to sing to you today. And the birds would sing to the prince. <laughs> the prince had no sense of tone. So the prince loved coming up to the heavens and listening to the birds sing. But the prince always wondered, how do people on the ground feel? Those who cannot fly high above with their magical curly, curly hair that waves behind them. So he asked the birds, birds, have you ever met a sad, pathetic soul who can't fly into the heavens? And the birds said, yes, yes. So the birds went and circled this one sad creature that could not fly into the heavens. They said, ha ha, ha ha, this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, fair prince that can't fly. It was a frog. It was a little frog lady, and the frog lady had moles all over her frog head, and uh, she didn't have her uh, ta or her legs developed enough yet, so she couldn't even hop that high. She was still half tadpole. So uh, the prince came down and he said, "Wow, what a miserable, miserable creature! I'm in love with her. I love her with all of my heart." and so she is the one i have been meant to meet my entire life and the frog looked up to him and said nothing because this frog can't talk frogs can't talk oh, no. <laughs> so the prince decided he must marry the frog but the frog was uninterested because once again it's so the prince decided birds i need your help help me woo this beautiful, moly, legless creature. <laughs> so the prince said, maybe what she needs is the biggest leaf of all the land to rest herself on, her delicate self. So he asked the birds to go and find a leaf. They did. They found the softest of foliage, and he laid it at the frog's feet. And the frog was placed on the foliage. And the frog close one eyelid and then another eyelid but did not look at the prince so the prince went and went to the birds and said there must be something the bird said i know i know bugs 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 are the favorite meal of frogs so the prince said go fetch me all the bugs in the land and the birds did. They went high and low. They went in garbage cans. And they went into the deepest rivers and they found all of the bugs. And they handed it to the fair prince. And the prince laid it at the frog's feet. 
will not feed because, you know, the frog didn't have any feed. So the frog said, no, 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 I don't have a digestive tract yet. I'm not fully developed. So uh, the frog could not eat this glorious meal that the prince uh, provided for it. The prince didn't know what to do. The prince loved this frog with all of his might. So the prince went to the birds and said, what do I do, birds? You know, you're the wisest. I go to you for the highest of all songs, the highest quality. Can you sing to me one more time so I can be inspired? <laughs> and with that last melody, the prince was inspired. I know what to do. I will match my beauty's eminence. So the prince went to the great witch that lived in the cottage and said, please, please turn me into a frog. Let me live with my mom. And the witch said, hey, okay, if that's what you want. I mean, some people like being frogs. You know, you get to lay on tadpoles. You don't have to stress about work or whatever. And the prince said, just turn me into a frog. Gosh, oh. So the witch said, okay, gosh, well, okay, here's my gift. Here's being a frog, man, whatever. And she turned him into a frog. The prince now had no hair. The prince now could no longer fly. But the prince went to his princess and said in, tog in frog tone, can you ever consider me to be princess? Or a frog prince. Rabbit. And the frog said, Yes, I will. Rabbit. And then the birds came and swooped them away and ate them because, you know, now they're frogs and they're in the bottom of the food chain. And that is the princess frog. Next game that we're playing, uh, I am going to ask that I get Steph and Ferran. Now, Steph and Ferran are going to do a fun little scene for us. However, every time I tell them to take it back, they will retract their last statement and find a new choice to continue the scene. So to get things started, can I get an occupation for these two players? Where do they work? Baker. Baker. Bakers? Are you ready? And bake. Man, she's killing me today. Charles, we both worked here for five years, and this is really hard. My my my, my muscles are hurting. Chelsea, Get back. Where, my butt is hurting. Chelsea, where are we gonna like save up and buy the store? Like we gotta keep saying. Old man Jenkins keeps saying he'll sell it eventually, retire. But maybe we gotta do it now. Then we can boss other people around. I agree. Like I even got my new manager's patch. I don't even know what I'm rolling. There's no dough here. This is the patch I'm going to wear when I get promoted, and I will make you assistant manager. Take it back. I will make you co-manager. Co-manager? Yes. Co-manager? Yes. We're going to own this building. You're going to settle for co-manager? I thought you were shooting higher in your aspirations. I see how it is. You know what? I'm going to take my share, and I'm going to buy the whole thing. Take it back. You know what? I'm going to take my share, and I'm going to open up a competing bakery from across the street, and I'm going to call, say, Chelsea sucks. That's the name of that bakery. Take it back. And I'm going to name it, hey, you want bread? Come here. <laughs> it's very straightforward. The title is the marketing. Well, while you do that. I was always the brains of us. While you do that. that. I was always the smartest this this of us to do. <laughs> while you do that, I'm going to take this dough and just eat it. That's disgusting. You know you can get sick from that, right? Nothing is making me sicker than the fact that we've grown each other so long and you just want to open a new business. You we talked about it. You know, we had drinks about it. And now here you are saying, oh, I'm going to settle for a manager position. I I can't do it anymore. I, I, need to have, I need to have dreams that I can fulfill, not dreams that are just dreams forever. I need to... I need to be my own person. Take it back. I need to be away from you. You're a bad influence trying to get me to eat dough. Super unsafe. I will never eat dough with you. Just say no, all right? We've been best friends for years. You know what? I'm not going to let you, um, I'm not going to stop your dream. That's just because I have no social life. Don't, you know, that's not, you can't use that. I'm not going to stop your dream. You Good. You can go, but I hope we will always be friends. 
Take it because back. I loved you for all this time. Take it back. Because I don't care what you say. I want you and I to be one. Just like this still. That's what I wanted, originally. Take it back. Those words mean nothing to me. I have the earbuds on. Hold on, let me put them away. Okay, can you repeat what you just said? That I want us to be one, just like this dough. I want Are to you be eating more dough? <laughs> Stop. Okay, you know what? I quit. I quit. Here's my chef's hat. I don't even know why I wear them. I'm in the back. No one sees me. Here's my apron. You had a picture of a little octopus yeah, on I kinda, it? I kind of like you take you know, the clothes off. It's kinda uh, like... You're not going to seduce me to stay, all right? My heart belongs to another. Take it back. You can't seduce me to stay. I'm attracted to other men. <laughs> well, luckily, this is Pillsbury, Pillsbury to a point. I need a guy. You, you have actual, little, literally the yes. little bit, like the one you see in the commercial? Yes. Can I poke his belly? Take it back. Can I... <laughs> Fondle him. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> we are going to play the question game. Okay, all right. So this is a little competition game with yes, Adriel. Bring on the props. So be this game is the question game. We are going to have some friendly competition here and. While these actors are on stage, they are going to be facing head to head to see who can keep the questions coming. If they hesitate, if they repeat a question, if they make a statement. I want you all to go. Yeah. All right, and then they will be out. A new player will replace them and start asking questions in the question game. Today is a special day, though, because these actors are not just going to be asking questions. They will be costumed as such. So, yes. So as they step forward, they have to put on a hat, glasses, some prop from the prop box to ask their questions. So to get us started, we need a question from the audience. Do I have a starting question, please? What's up? What's up? What's up? So let's get suited up, <laughs> and then we'll get started with our competition. So, glasses on. We are ready to go. What's up? What's up? You know, I just got love on the brain today. Oh, oh. no question. Oh. <laughs> up. Ooh, scary. Do these ropes make me look fat? Are you sure you want to go out like this? Do you know the time's up? Is this planet safe to live in? Why do you think I'm here? Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Back up. New shades. Maybe you'll find lucky shades this time. Or a new eyeball. Are you looking in my eyes right now? <laughs> Did you know that it was your time? What are you talking about? Did you know that you're going to go off to the next place? How am I supposed to go to the next place if we're stuck here on this island? Why do you think I brought my little boat? How do you have a boat here? We were dropped off? No. Adriel, uh, back on. Which way to the library? Why would you think I know? Don't you look like you've been here for years? Does it look like I have a brain? <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold, 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 hold. All right, we've been playing for a good while, right? Are we getting a sense of who's doing pretty good? So, uh, going down the line, um, let's see who you think is doing the best of this game. And we're going to have our final heads or heads. Or pass to pass round. So, give us a round of applause if you think Brianna the bunny is doing the best. Alright. If you think Adriel, who is no longer masked, is doing a good job. And now our scarred bony prawn. 
bro. Just chill, bro. Uh, if you think he's doing the best job, give us a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so I definitely heard it from Veron. Uh, one more time. I feel like you should know that, but good thing you asked that. Where's Cheese. Grandma? Cheese. Right. Here. We <laughs> 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 were looking for her. You found her. She's right here. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions we got for this all-knowing expert? Where is Waldo? Oh. You have to look deeper <laughs> in your rabbit. And you should check the newspaper section. So look at your rabbit hole and check the newspaper <laughs> section. That is where Waldo is. Now we got time for one final question. Let's make this one a doozy. Give them something that you think no one would be able to answer, but they can. They really can. So what's the hardest question to think of? Are stars just lights, or are they fire? Are stars just light, or are they fire? They are here in space. And my stars are in 
lights. Oh. <laughs> yep. They're right here. The lights on. You're in space and lights on. I hope that answers your question. Wait, let's start. All right. Well, thank you. That's all the time that we have for our Eldridge meeting. Let's give a round of applause to all knowing experts. I have the next scene in my hands, and it is entrance and exits. So for this, we have every single one of our players up here, but only two can be in the scene at the same time. So. They're going to have a keyword. Every time they hear this keyword, they have to enter the scene. But once again, only two people can stay in the scene. So someone's going to have to find their way out. So what I need from you guys is a keyword from each person or for each person. Can I have one for Brianna? Nothing. 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 Adriel. And. And. <laughs> treasure and no, there's and there's nothing <laughs> and there's nothing look man i'm gonna go pitch my new idea to shark tank but make sure you look for something new to inspire you on your path like beans well i'll go i, I better go look for that special something honey someone left like this treasure box here wow perfect i'll uh, i'll get all the puppies Oh, that's a great idea. We'll drop them right here, we'll close it, we'll write for sale, leave it on the side of the road. Not our problem anymore. And no. I love you for it. Yeah, I know. We get along so well with that. So, hey, I just decided I want to keep that treasure chest even though it's uh, empty. It wasn't me, bye. The well, beans aren't making me sick. Hey, what's going on? I just got a tattoo of a triangle. I've been looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always do this to your body? I don't know. Look, later I think I'm going to go masturbate and affectionate myself while I do it. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do to stop you. All right. Hey, did anyone see my keys to my RAV4? I can't find them. Okay, I better go look for my treasure chest. Yeah, okay, well... Dad, what are you doing here? I was just putting away, you know, the, the puppies that you really like. I wanted to put them away. Puppies? No, I You need to focus on your help. image, on your body. Oh, don't worry. I'm focused on it. You know, we have a competition coming up, right? We can't get second place again. Yes, and uh, what about it? <laughs> Is this what you've been spending I your time with? I still can't find you my daughter. You should go to your room. Yeah, go I to your room. I'm going to go to my go room. room. What kind of influence are you to my daughter? More importantly, is that well, the treasure chest? Why does your breath smell like beans? <sighs> I, I got hungry. What did you want? I can't, I can't, I can't eat it right now. It smells too bad. I found my treasure chest, but it's locked again. 
Good thing I have the key. It smells like beans, though. What do you know? Puppies and beans. Oh, I'm gonna carry the beans puppies. Beans and Franks. The dogs. This is the world's worst. The worst of the worst. The worst is now. And some of you have given us suggestions of things that you would like to see as world's worst. We are going to read out these things for you and perform them on the stage. So, the first one is World's Worst Dragon. Oh, go ahead and take the princess, I don't care. Let us see what the magic wand is going to be. World's worst for all this for you. 
teacher. <laughs> you have homework for the rest of your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where are you going? The bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. <laughs> I'm going to be grading all of your notes tomorrow, so get them done. Um, kids, all your lunches were great. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> For anyone who got an F on the test, I have stable day Burger King application on your test. <laughs> you failed. There's no hope for you. <laughs> yep, yeah, teacher do have favorites. You're just not one of them. <laughs> Adriel. And we are This, this is Improv.